Oh, it's Kevin Pavrath. He's the leading in the polls as the top Democrat to replace Gavin Newsom. Uh, Kevin, thanks so much for joining the program. I I've been checking you out, hearing your thoughts. I I'm just curious how you feel about the Democrat establishment trying to push you out of the way. According to them, this is a Republican recall. Last time I checked, you're a Democrat, right? That's 100% correct. I've been a Democrat since I registered at 18. And look, here's the thing. The Democratic Party has gone so far to the left. I call myself a JFK-style Democrat because I think we got to go back to the common sense solutions. Gavin Newsom's running a fear-mongering campaign, and that's because he can't stand on policy. His, his shiny object to complain about is Larry Elder, and he can't stand on anything that matters, which is homelessness, housing, schooling, water, fires, the big issues we have, because he He's been a failure. That's why I'm running. Yeah, so talk about your Democrat establishment, though. Why are they getting involved in this race? Because that's anti-Democrat, right? Of course, yeah, they, and they have to because they're fearful of the people in charge like Gavin Newsom. They are so fearful that I can't even get a Democratic attorney to represent me when I need legal help. That's because they say, sorry, if we go on record as supporting a Republican recall, then, then we can't get future Democratic clients. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's a California recall. The establishment is so powerful. The money and media has just corrupted the process. And, and I don't want to be tinfoil hat, but my eyes have just been opened. But I'm going to keep fighting. So, Ke Kevin, I... I, I, got, I got to ask you this. Why not switch parties or become an independent? Because it's clear that your party leaders don't want you there. Uh, that's okay. I believe that voters determine elections, and I have some progressive priorities that I very much stand for. For example, I think we should pay adults in poverty $2,000 a month to go to future schools, to get a financial education, learn a career, so we can get them off of welfare and off of Medi-Cal, and we can break the cycle of crime and poverty in the state and homelessness. Those are some of the priorities that I think lean slightly more left, but look, I call myself JFK style because I believe I'm 51, 49. I'm so in the you middle. Know, Kevin, I just want California Solutions. You don't sound much like a Democrat. You sound like an average day Republican, moderate. Um, I've read your, your stance on crime and you don't believe in defunding the police and all that. Uh, I'm going to be following this race, brother. And even if you don't win it, uh, I, I look forward to seeing you more. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Full plan at meetkevin.com. All right.